My bikes all kind of have that early Harley Davidson vibe to them. I build my bikes the way I do, taking inspiration from that era of racing because it represents everything that I love about motorcycles. It's extremely raw, it's extremely stripped down, and it's 100% hot rod. You look at what that bike represents and it wasn't intended to, oh we want this bike to look badass. No. It was intended to do one thing and one thing only. Whether it's hill climber, land speed, board track, doesn't matter. You look at that bike and you can see exactly what it was intended for. Any one of those riders for their time was a hero, you know, to anybody that would have gone and seen them race. Think about the insanity of, of board track racing in the 20s. It's comparable to strapping on an engine to your bicycle from when you were younger and going 100 miles an hour on two by fours. That's essentially what they were doing. And when you think about the fact that the average top speed of a car from that time was only 30 miles an hour and they're doing 100, it doesn't surprise me that, that those guys were looked at as heroes for the time. I remember walking into the, the Harley Museum for the first time and catching their, their display that really showed off where it all started for them what the founders kind of started in with their little 10 by 15 shop, what they must have gone through just to get that first bike done, what that feeling must have been like hopping on that bike and riding it for the first time. I think identifying with and, and seeing, you know, where Harley Davidson started and what those guys dealt with in the beginning stages, um, you know, I've, I've always really identified with that. The founders of Harley Davidson started with next to nothing compared to what I have access to in my shop. Yet, I'm still taking a lot of inspiration from things that they created with a lot less. The fact of the matter is that as much of these bikes that I build on my own and, and time that I put in, I don't, I don't try and produce an engine. I don't try and produce a transmission because Harley's already built a beautiful piece. Harley has given me an awesome platform to expand on and base my art around. Vintage Harley Davidson isn't just a benchmark of design influence for me. It's also represents something much bigger. Um, it represents American ingenuity at its finest. And the reason I say that is if they can start in a 10 by 15 dirt floor shop and build what they've built today, it makes me think about what can I do? Where can I take my life and my business?